Hello, my name is Xbyte, and in a recent 1.16 snapshot, Mojang added the feature that chat color is now determined by an RGB value, meaning that we now have full RGB color in the chat. So I decided to use that to create images using RGB characters. So previously in Minecraft, there were only 16 possible chat colors, each of which would have a certain name, and you would set the chat's color by referencing that name in the command. So we have like dark blue here, and if you run that, it will be dark blue. I believe if we remove the dark, it should just be blue, and that's a different color. And there's different names for each of the 16 chat colors. But now, in 1.16, we will be able to use a hexadecimal color value. And this can reference any color. So if we hit enter, then that will be green. If we want it to do black, we just do all zeros. And that will be black. White would be all S. Again, it's not a particularly unique colors but if we want to like change things up we can type in like a random value here and now we get a random color right there so it, we get full rgb color we can do any color that we want and using these colors we could now make more complex images but for that we need a pixel so first i started off using this little square symbol which is a normal Unicode symbol. So if I put that in here, we can see our little square. If I put a bunch of but if I put a bunch of them in like this, we'll see that there's uh, a lot of space in between them, both horizontally and vertically. So that's not really going to do. I needed a different symbol. So I created my own symbol that is a larger square. And if you put that in here, we'll see that it works a little bit better. So, hor vertically, I don't know, up and down, it is seamless, but it still has this little gap in between it like that. So if we grab this one over here, this is a third symbol, uh, another custom symbol, and this is a negative space symbol, basically. So if we put this in between all of our symbols here, like that, it should be seamless. Now this symbol that I just added actually has a negative space, so it will remove, by putting it in between our other square symbols, it will remove the space. So we can now make seamless uh, pixels like that and I have a little command thing set up over here that um, Makes a pattern if I grab it like this We'll see we then create this pattern like that on the thing and, it, and it's all seamless Now one thing to note is that um, loading these symbols having all of these on the screen does uh, Cause lag in the game and actually quite a bit of lag if we show our frame rate and then We'll see that it's 60, but then it drops down to like 24. And with a full screen, it can actually get lower. So this is kind of laggy, though honestly, you're not going to need a lot of frame rate when you're just in the chat. So I don't think it's a huge problem. If anyone knows why that might be, uh, feel free to tell me down in the comments. And now that we have our seamless pixels worked out, we can go on to create more complicated images. So if I run uh, this command, right here, it loads a uh, function from a data pack and we'll create this image right here. And this is using all of those, those pixels that we used before. And as we can see, it's a uh, full RGB basically. This is pieces of the actual uh, dirt texture. We'll notice a gradient in the sun and a subtle gradient in the sky. So there's lots of colors going on here. And I also have another image that I created. If we do image two, we'll see here we have a very, very low resolution of an actual Minecraft screenshot. So I took the screenshot um, over here 
roughly. So it's sort of here. I took the screenshot and then uh, downscaled it. So you can kind of see the, the pattern between that and there. And if we look at the actual function files of these images, we'll, we will see a bunch of tail raw commands. And then it goes on really long. And e in here is all of the different colors for each of the pixels. As you can imagine, I did not generate this command by hand. I created a Python script that will read a 36 by 20 image, a very small image. That's basically the size that I figured out is the dimensions that I can do within the chat. So it takes a 36 by 20 PNG image and will convert it because we now have um, full RGB capability. It then converts it to uh, this function, which loads it into the chat. So we can see we have 20 lines right here, and that is basically our, our vertical dimension. And then there will be 36 different characters this way, though I'm not going to count it. I will have a download link to the Python script in the description if you wish to use this yourself. I will also have a download link to the resource pack, as that is required to properly view the images. If we uh, remove our resource pack here, we take the resource pack off, we see Mojang's new logo that they added, and also once it's fully removed, we can then go over here, and we'll see because the, the characters are formatted um, differently, we, the lines don't extend right, the, the lines extend below, but we can also see the default, um, ooh, ooh, see, it, it glitched and formatted correctly here. So if we look at all the characters, this is basically Minecraft's um, placement replacement character for any time it finds a Unicode character it doesn't recognize. It's just this little square. So we can still see the image here. The actual colors are not dependent on the resource pack. The resource pack just makes it uh, viewable and more like an image. So you'll need the resource pack if you want to properly view these. One other thing to note is that you will need the text background op opacity to be 0%. With this at 100% or 50%, which I think is the normal, it creates these uh, weird lines. Um, if I uh, set it to like 50%, lines won't be as obvious, but they'll, they'll still be there. So unless you have your background opacity set to 0%, it's going to get these weird lines. Everything else, uh, I think I think this is default, so just make sure that yours looks like this and all of this should work. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if you want to see more, then subscribe and click the bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye!